Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. We just do Stylix Q704. Tablet is back in session. Boom, boom. Yes. So how do you like my rock and roll music as always? Welcome back to my one of my video sessions once again. Sorry about the real long wait this time. So today we are gonna be talking about Pages 2 Stylistic Q704 tablet. In today's session, we're gonna be primarily talking about the display yeah the screen on this Pajistu tablet so we need to clarify what kind of stuff does this display really have okay right a Pajistu tablet screen right it's very important to know what actually it's in there Okay. Now the screen right itself. The one they're using right is twelve point five screen size. All right. So the screen itself is twelve point five. Do not think it's smaller or bigger. It's not. It's twelve. 0.5 screen size display which is a very good screen size the way I'm looking at it it's a well sized screen for your typing right and even using the touch screen all right so it's a IPS dual digitizer, all right? There's one thing I need to say about this is that it's a full HD display panel, okay? Yes. So what kind of resolution do we get from this screen? It's been said even from the manufacturer's website, is 1920 times 1080 pixel. So what kind of resolution is that? These are numbers, aren't they? Okay. Now, what is 1920? For one thing, what is it? Okay, 1920 is in a landscape. Okay, let's make it a bit more basic for you guys. A 1080 is the height of the display. So what resolution is this number actually telling you? It's a 1080p HD resolution. Okay, which is very impressive indeed. Come on. Okay, there might be some... 2K and 4K displays, but 1080p has been there for a very, very long time, man. And it's been a very popular resolution for many, many years. Okay? 
it's been there for a very very long time you know the display is very crystal clear very bright the display is very bright by the way so you know all the brightness balls when you're going to keep on pressing the plus 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 this display gives you great brightness trust me it's got great brightness it's not a display that is very dark and dark no it's very bright indeed okay one of the most important thing about this display is maybe not but it goes in four types okay you can have a primary landscape orientation okay where the webcam is at the top okay and the window button is at the bottom so we're looking at this aren't we? Look at that. as we usually hold tablets okay the other one is primary portrait orientation so what happens there. So it goes in portrait. Now the webcam is on to the right. All right, the webcam's to the right, and your Windows button is on the left, and it goes into portrait. Huh? Another way is that when you make the system upside down your webcam will be at the bottom the window key will be at the top that's a, another landscape mode all right and the last one which is the fourth one which is another way primary portrait orientation again your webcam to the left your windows key to the right portrait so you can use the device in these kind of styles okay because it's rotating isn't it the screen is just rotating so whatever you, you could do these four different modes of rotation on this tablet if you want to do that All right. another thing is that you get a stylus pen okay and I've heard this stylus pen is not made by Fujitsu it's a Wacom stylus pen okay that's the one was recommended for this device before using this pen please be very careful you need to insert a battery in this pen yeah it's not like one of them pens it's just made of plastic and you can start using it no what you have to do you have to take the cap from the back and you have to place a battery okay what's the size of this battery so listen to this very carefully for batteries four A's did you get that it's four A's I'll explain that in another way what do I mean number four okay so how this works is it's A A A A it's four times A batteries that you need to buy for this pen otherwise this pen won't do anything it won't work because on Windows 10 you have to activate the thing that works the pen all right I will go into that probably in another video 
you have to activate to on which will be blue so you can use the pen so make sure in windows 10 settings you've activated that first and then you got a battery in your pen if you do one of the one of these the other way around where there's a battery in the pen and then it's not activated from the windows settings you have to go for the control panel and all that okay it won't work still they're both you need to get this both correct okay once you get these both things right your pen will work flawlessly you move your pen and you can start drawing with it no, no. We just whack on stylus pen. It will tell you in the manufacturer's website or any of the Fujistus user guide, right? How to use a pen. Okay. And this Fujistu Stylistic Q704 tablet has all the features for your touch screen using the gestures okay pulling your fingers like that doing like that, doing like that. all the gestures are there they are there for you every gesture you've seen on a tablet it's all available on this device okay all of it I don't want to explain too much about the gestures, which they are. It's got all of these pinpoint style gestures, gestures on this device. There isn't one that's missing out of this device. Okay. Well, every time you're using this device, make sure your screen's clean if you want that good precision control from the pen if you got any dirt on the screen then the pen is not going to be a very good performer okay so make sure you do that because usually when you use your fingers on the screens you start playing if your fingers are like dirt on it it'll go on the screen okay so keep your screen clean at all times this display is really great okay so if this display is 1080p hd what kind of display do we get if we connect to a television right we know it's 1080p as the eternal resolution of it but if you connect it to a 4k television you will be able to do 4k from it because 1080p right resolutions can do 4k yeah you're probably thinking that how is that possible that's weird but it can you will be able to still Get upscaling your four four K onto a big television. You will able to do all that. I don't think you can't. You can because in most majority time, it's been said that this for this two stylistic Q seven zero four tablet can do four K on the television. Yeah, on screen is ten eighty p, but on television it can do four K. It, it is quite a powerful device, you know. It's not a normal thing. As I always said that, we know this is about a display. It does have an Intel HD 4400 in there, which is a very good GPU. Okay? It can play a lot, a lot of good games on this display. Most majority times, you'll be playing games in 640 resolution or 720p hd okay 
you will able to play some games in 1080p HD as well on the screen. You were able to do that. I want to go up to 4K. <laughs> yeah, don't don't try it. Just stay up to 1080p HD in terms of gaming. Do not try to go higher than that. With 1080p, in some games you were able to get. You were able to get 1080p in some games. I can't clarify that over this video, which ones can run in 1080p. A lot of them will work. Trust me on that. The display on the Fujitsu Stylistic Q704 tablet, it's very, very crystal clear, vibrant, and very bright. It's good for watching HD videos and to play games in 720p and 1080p HD. It's a great display. You can enjoy a lot of your work and your gaming in tabletop. Okay? You should be able to do that. In tabletop. But when it comes to writing, if you want to enjoy this display, I will get the keyboard so it looks like a professional laptop PC. So get the keyboard and then you can start typing and you can write all of your your word processors or PowerPoint or Excel on the display. And it looks really impressive because the screen's pretty big as well for typing and all that. And for your gaming you can get the standout and use a game controller on it. And you can start gaming in tabletop mode. Obviously, it's a pretty advanced device. You could use monitors on it and televisions as well. So I hope this video has been quite informative about the display. Now you understand more what to expect, expect from this display. It's a great display. So don't worry about it. It's a great display. I forgot to mention one thing. What about in sunlight conditions? Is it good for that? Overall, the experience in sunlight is pretty good as well. It's a good from the sunlight rays going on the screen. What the thing about this screen is that, okay, the light probably will go on the screen. It still has some kind of protection on it. So the pulley, the sunlight, light ray doesn't show up on the screen. You could turn up the brightness, right? And get rid of that sunlight rays. It actually does that. So if you feel like that way, if you still can see the sunlight rays going into the screen, then just turn on the brightness, it does help it greatly. Yeah, so this device is good for everything. Yeah, so it's it's a good display. So don't worry too much about it. So it's showing you tests and all that. You'll be very impressed with this device. The display hasn't got any problems with it. It's a great display. Fujitsu always strives for higher standards when it comes to its display. Trust me on that. Fujitsu is a computer leader in computers. Okay? They know what they're doing when it comes to, to making these computer systems. Alright? So they do make displays in higher standards. And you ain't going to get nothing short from the Fujitsu Stylus Q704 tablet. It's an absolutely amazing display. So anyway, I hope you guys like that video today. Give me a likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.